Wow, it's gonna be a hot one. It's half five in the morning, it's already 21 degrees. It's shades time. I have to get these out early. Factor 50 on, cold drink, the necessities of today. Welcome back to the channel. My name's George Russ. This is Retro Reselling, and I buy and sell amazingly secondhand stuff from boot sales, charity shops, auctions, wherever I can get it from. Buy it cheap, sell it online for a profit. That's my business. And today's Wednesday, my midweek boot sale, still my favorite boot sale to go to. If I'm gonna get my cool stuff, it's gonna be from this one. Have to pay up a little bit sometimes, or most of the time, but it's always worth it. Or most of the time, it's always worth it. Got a GoPro, it's attached to my backpack. Come along with me, I'll talk you through. I've got my mic here. Try to explain as much as I can, what I'm looking at, why I'm putting it back, why I'm buying it, bit of negotiations, everything like that. About a 20 minute drive to get there, so I'll get going and I'll see you in the field. If people are wondering, the trolley I use, they don't actually make this one. This was from Halfords, it's called Urban Escape. Yeah, I got this in 2020, obviously during the first year of the pandemic. Obviously we couldn't go on holidays or anything, so they were reduced to like 30 quid. They don't sell this anymore, I don't think Halfords sell any of them, but yeah, it's a good one. Even though my clip's falling off now, so this flops down. Oh, well, it does, but yeah, that's the one I use. It's been going two years almost, so it's going strong. Let's go. Let's get in there. Right, I'm going to skip the first two rows because I've seen something that is with a dealer that does price things up most of the time, so it might not be worth it, but I have bought stuff from them before. How much on the lamp? Seven. Seven? Okay. How about on the tin? I don't know if you said seven or seventeen now. Oh, should you say the lamp cost again? Seventeen. Seven. Okay. Sorry. Oh, I thought you said seven. I even repeated seven. Seven T. That's basically what it's worth on eBay anyway, so never mind. I don't know if you get this or if it's just me, but to get that first buy, it always feels like a panic. It feels like, oh, I've got to buy something, even if it's worth a little bit of profit, just to get going. Bit of a coal, that'd be massively expensive. Nice, they want hundreds for that. How much for the lamp, sorry? Okay, that's fine. 60. What's that one? 68. Ah, uh, deal. Expensive here today. Let's try a luck on the rails. What's that? FGA? RGA? RGA? Feels soft. Have to look it up though. Is this another RGA? RGA, not for look up, but again, looks like an antique type stall, so it's probably very expensive. Bit of research, vintage RGA leather jackets. One went for 11 99 one went for 20 best offer. And then five pounds, 10 pounds, yeah. I didn't think it was anything, but I just confirmed it. DKB, not heard of that brand either. Still waiting for that first purchase. <laughs> I think from the previous video that I rejected, I've just seen boxed, hopefully new. Um, have they even been used? They must have been used. No, the elastic's still off. I'm guessing you just whack it on. Um, there. How much are these? Eight. Okay. We'll give him eight. I bought from him loads of times before. He's very good pricing. Put that in there for a minute. See if there's anything else. Zippy. All pine stars. Straps broken off. Every strap's broken off. No. No good. Deodora. 
Got some free fluff. This one's look alright. Bit of wet and no, holes. Size of this one. Size medium. It's not leather or anything, but good brand. Gore-Tex. Is that like a what is that? Does that go on the inside of the jacket? How much on the jackets? Ten, ten each. Ten each. Okay. Fifteen a pair. Fifteen. Twenty-three. Cool. I got that look. If it's 23 all together. 23. Yeah. Wait for one pickup and then three come along at once. There you go, just like a bus. Cool. Nicely done. Three pickups. The moon boots, moon shoes, they look unused. So I think that's about 30. So there's my money box straight away. They've got the Alpine Stars. Uh, it's like a textile jacket. Should be hopefully 40 quid. And then the Gore-Tex in a jacket thing, hopefully that's like 25, 30. Nice pickup, and hopefully more pickups come along now. Big and bulky. How much on the telly? Five, are you? That should sell quite well. What's this one? Daewoo. I might leave that one. It's got instructions. Um, I'll grab that one, please. Okay. Alright, thanks for that. Cheers. Or don't do Lego. <laughs> yeah. Cheers to Kev, off camera. 25 quid for the Le Creuset. Cheers mate, add that to the pile. Always a pleasure. Yeah, I always worry for no reason. It goes a few minutes without a pickup. I think, oh no, I've wasted my time. But suddenly, it's looking like a good morning. Also, I'll look up the other one that I left, but I've got this. What was this? Aiwa, I think that's how you say it. No remote, but that should be cheap to get. Five pounds should be hopefully 50 to 60. These are the moon shoes. They look unused, which is nice because used they're going for like 20, 25. Alpine or Alpine Stars textile jacket. Then this is the sort of under jacket jacket. So it goes underneath a leather jacket or textile jacket. Frank Thomas with Gore-Tex. Most things with Gore-Tex ain't worth good money. This is just a waterproof material. So that's quite cool. That's in the deal. So they owe me 750 each. And a subscriber sort me out here. 25 quid for this Le Crusade. <laughs> Le Crusade, I should say. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Got five saucepans with four lids. Four of them with lids. Unless there's one hiding. Um, yeah, 25 quid. Looks like they've had their handles replaced. But it looks official to me. Like official replacement plastic handles. 25 should still go for... Uh, I have no idea, actually. They look in decent shape, like this one, looks nice and clean. A bit of wear to that one, I'd say comfortably, yeah, about 60 to 80 I'd say. Let's go again. I used to wear this stuff. Don't wear it anymore. Stay safe. Mm. I know there can be good money and stuff like that, but I'm out of my depth, creams and potions and that, so I won't risk it. Plus it's probably out of date and whatever, which can be a bit iffy when selling on eBay, so yeah, I'll pass on them. It's quite good. How much on the light? Yeah. 45. 45, okay. It's from Herbitat from the oh, 70s. Yeah. That's cool. Not being converted on. Five or eight. 
Well, fingers crossed. Uh, what's that for? 15 for the um, three phones, yeah? Are you getting them? Hey, look, you put them down. There you go. Run me off there. Put them down, walked away, and then he's painting. How much on the bag? Five. Five, okay. I'll take the bag. A uh, couple more bits in there, yeah. Oh, hang on. There's needles there. Uh, I think that's everything. There you go. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Thank you. This has caught my eye. It's not them. Both Adidas F50 Astros. They're cool. Bit of wear to them though. How much on the football trainers? Uh, it's two pound, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Can't go around at two pound. Put them in my bag. There's two pound there. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you. thank you. Cheers. Looks like a vintage run, but I know it's fake. Well, I'm pretty sure it's fake anyway. Yeah, it's that Velcro it looks horrible. It's not an Essex boot sale unless you pick up some fake Stone Island gear. Not literally pick it up, just come across it. I just got called out by a subscriber. Tenor, Toshiba DVD to VHS. And it's a recorder as well. So they don't know if it works, they got it from a house clearance, but if it don't, I can bring it back if I want. It's only a tenner. It's worth more in parts anyway. Or if it does work, then like 100 quid. So that's one. It's paying off having the YouTube channel today. <laughs> I haven't picked many of these chairs up this year. Uh, one I have. Well, one of them's been broke. Uh, pattern's cool, but it's faded. 5H? Okay. Might be worth it, five. We'll do ten. Should still be forty quid. There you go. Perfect, thank Bye you very much. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. A couple more bits here. What's this one? HDD hard drive DVD video recorder. Don't know if that's worth much. These can sometimes be surprising. It'll be worth quite a bit. How much on a couple of bits down here? Yeah, I'll fill in for a tenner. Yeah, I'll do that, yeah. yeah. That's fine. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Thanks, Cheers, thank you. How much is your bike, Chief? 43, mate. Ooh. Filling up again. Needs to be researching up to Sheba, but. £10 for both, worth the risk. Let's crack on another leather case. Three pounds? I'll take that one. Unless there's anything down this next row, I think that's me done and dusted. Oh, yeah, I got it. Cheers. I just drop stuff. Stay there. You staying there? There we go. Well, it turned out to be another really good morning. A couple of bags to put back stuff in. But you've seen everything I picked up today. Let's just research this one, see if it was worth it or not. Hard drive, DVD, recorder, player. They can be very hit and miss. Uh, 42, 23, 55, 49. Similar models, not the exact model number. 58, 39, 49, 35. Yeah, so should be a decent pickup. It's only a fiver. Yeah, no remote. But still, should be worth more than a fiver. I really didn't need to panic, did I? Another boot full.